Now, I am recording this video to give you a little video tutorial on how to go through the Eugenie Clark and the Sleeping Sharks hyperdoc. So one thing that I, I think might be a little bit easier about this nonfiction unit is for this particular nonfiction piece, everything is in one document. So on your le in the left column, you have all of the links that you would need to click on and, and kind of some of the activities that you need to do. And then in the right hand column, you have the your task and you kind of know this is complete once you have done all of these things. Okay, so we're going to go through the hyperdoc and I'll show you what you need to do for each of these things. So the very first one is vocabulary. What you would do is you would click here on the link, which I, I cheated and opened these up ahead of time. So it'll take you to the Eugenie Clark and the Sleeping Sharks vocab check. So you're going to put in your first name, last name, and your class period. I, I did this ahead of time to save a little bit of time here and click next. Okay, then what it's going to do is it's going to take you to the words and definitions. This is where you have to match each word with its definition. So for example, the first one maneuver, um, I just chose the first one for each one so I can easily get to the next column. So you would go through and you'd find whatever you think is the correct definition for maneuver and go on through each of these. Okay, the last section is fill in the blank and it's using context clues. So it says, read each sentence, complete each sentence with the best word, use each word only once. So for example, number eight, it says, when she touched the fish, a milky substance blank from the pores along its fins. So you'd go here and you would choose the word which best completes it. Once you're done, you're gonna go down, click submit. It will give you your score when you have completed it. Okay, at that point, you're gonna go back to the hyperdoc and you are going to type your score in this yellow box. All right, once you've done that, the next part says, what do you know about sharks? You are going to go to Socrative and you're gonna enter room months 12. And so what it says is to go through the true and false questions and read the explanations to see how much you truly know about sharks. Okay, so we'll do that right now, months 12. And it wants your last name, comma, first name. So you have 14 statements. And again, you're just going to decide if you think it's true or false. This is not a grade. It's just to test your knowledge. So for example, number one, it says most sharks are man eaters. I'd click true if I think it's true. False if I think it's false. Submit my answer. What it's going to do once you submit your answer is it will tell you if you are correct or incorrect. And then it'll give you a little explanation for, for each true false statement. So keep track of how many you, you do get correct. And once you're done, you're gonna go back here and type your score in this box. Okay, then you're gonna read a little nonfiction piece about sharks. Everything has been uploaded to a, a Google site. Um, this information has just different things that people have tried throughout history to repel sharks or to prevent shark attacks. It has some interesting beliefs that people have had about sharks. So as you're reading it, I want you to think about two interesting facts that you learned about sharks, or maybe you could look at two ways that people have tried to prevent shark attacks. Okay, so here's the website opened up. And um, one thing you'll notice is there is an audio player above each one. So what you can do is you can click on it. Um, I don't know, I think it's not playing right now because I am recording audio, but what it'll do is it'll play and it will read this audio to you. Okay, you'll go down, there's another one down here, and it'll read this audio to you. A little video for you to watch here. Again, hit play, read the audio to you. So if you want it to read it to you as you read along, that would be a good option. Okay, so you're gonna finish reading all of this. And then again, you're gonna go back here and write the two things. Okay, next step is reading the biography. It's, it's called Eugenie Clark and the Sleeping Sharks, written by Marjorie Facklum. So Eugenie Clark was a really interesting scientist. She was a woman who did a, a lot of things in her lifetime that I would never ever want to do, such as going snorkeling in the water with sharks. So you would click on this link, which will take you to a Google site. Okay, again, you can see that the audio is embedded. You click play, it'll read. This is Marjorie Facklum. She is the author. 
read to you about a biography. And then once you hit play here, it'll read to you the different sections of the, the nonfiction piece, the biography. Okay. So once you have read that, you'll go back over here and you have two options. So the first option would be, I would say use it if you have, if you're using maybe a, like an iPad or a cell phone to complete the document, or if, if it's just personal preference, but you would click here on uh, the questions. And what it's going to do is it's going to force you to make a copy of the questions. So you would click make a copy. Once you get in, you're going to go through obviously and answer the questions. But then we need to share this back somehow so that I can actually see it. Okay, so to share it, click on the blue share button. Obviously mine's a little slow here. And what you'll see is when you first get into it, it's shared. It's actually not shared with anyone. It's private just to you. I think my computer's angry that I have used it way too much today. It's taking its time here. Oh my goodness, what happened? I think we'll have to give that another shot here. Okay, so I'm going to click on advanced. And when I go in here, it says private only you can access. That's what I want to change. So I click change. I'm going to go to on anyone with the link. Double check down here. It says access anyone can view. Perfect. Click save. So now you can look up here. It says anyone who has the link can view. All good. Click done. And then I'm going to copy my URL and I'm going to paste it in this blue part right here. That is option one. Option two for answering the questions would be if you want to use insert learning. Exact same questions, just a little bit of a different format. Now, remember, you can only use insert learning if you are on a Chromebook or a Mac using, or I guess any other computer, but you have to be on a Chrome browser logged into your account so the insert learning extension is available. So choose to do this one. What you would do is you could just go to insert learning or you can click on the uh, biography and then you would click on insert learning which will open insert learning up and then the exact same questions that were on the Google Doc are just going to be embedded in the biography. Okay, so like you can see here is the first question. One of the things that I try to do with this one is I try to embed the questions kind of where it was in reference to um, like the, the piece in the, in the biography. Okay, so that would be option number two. Okay, going back to the HyperDoc, you next have a video. It's it's a little bit corny, a little bit cheesy, but gives you some interesting facts about sharks. So you're going to watch the video and list two facts that you learned after watching Shark Facts for Kids. Um, so just to kind of show you, here's what the video looks like. Okay, then you're going to watch a video. It says, um, it's a YouTube video. It's a Hawaii diver swims with record-breaking largest great white shark. And it's a news story on today. So this scientist, um, Ocean Ramsey, gets into the ocean and free dives with this 20-foot great white shark. And here is the, the video. This is kind of what it's going to look like. So you're going to watch the video. And then the question says, would you swim in the ocean with sharks like the great white, like Ocean Ramsey is doing and other scientists also do? Explain so kind of give the why or why not answer and complete sentences in this box here All right next task in pink is totally optional This is if you're just looking for a little bit more information about sharks So 
Peter Benchley is the author of Jaws, and he wrote a, a nonfiction piece, a magazine article called Great White Sharks. I'm going to go ahead and I don't think I had that one opened up. So it, it, it goes, um, it's just, again, it's a nonfiction piece. One of the things that I thought was really interesting about this is, like I said, Peter Benchley is the author of Jaws. And what he kind of says in this piece is that if he would have, have known more, I guess, about sharks, um, like if he would have had the knowledge that he has today, he never would have written Jaws because what happened was after people read Jaws or they watched the movie, they kind of got this information that all sharks were man eaters. Um, people kind of panicked. They were scared to go in the ocean. People would go out and purposely try to kill sharks and it, it didn't have the reaction, I guess, that maybe he was intending um, so he says, you know, hey, I, I would never have have written that today knowing now what I, I know about sharks. So if you choose to read it, it just says, what is your response to the reading? Like maybe interesting facts, your opinion, whatever. You'd write that here. Okay, um, the next document is if we were in class, I would give each of you a copy of this and you'd go around your classmates and see if they knew the answers to each of these questions. Obviously, we're not in class. So what I'm going to do is share with you guys just a, a, a copy with the answers. Okay. So this is something that you would use as a kind of test review. All right. So you're going to look at that. And then once you're ready for the test, um, you're going to click on the link. It's going to, I know I have that open somewhere here. It's going to open just a, a Google form. You're going to put in the password. I, I still have it pass protected. Um, this is my super lame attempt at humor slash movie reference. 47 meters down so you'll take the the test and um, then you kind of know hey once I I have every single one of these filled in the your task and I've done my test then you can go back to Google Classroom submit the hyperdoc and you are done with the Eugenie Clark portion of the nonfiction unit if you have any questions about this please make sure that you ask. Um, you can ask me either on Google Classroom, you can send me a message and remind, shoot me an email. I am happy to help however I can.